on the 23rd, uh, we had a uh, an alarm, and we had to go reset the generator and the UV system over there. We've had a couple of power outages up there within the last week or so. Um, then we go to we worked again on the June 1st and yes. June 24th and July 1st. Uh, over the 4th of July weekend, and this is just to show the board that the work that Toby did up there has really paid off because uh, we had one call up there on July 5th, 461. They had a red light. Um, I went up there and the float was stuck. That's all it was, so I just uh, raised them up, readjusted them a little bit, and uh, took care of that. And then again on the 6th, we had another uh, uh, power outage up there, so we had to reset the generator. Basically, that's all we had for the month of uh, June and uh, first part of July. Um, I don't remember if I was at last month's board meeting, um, but we had the New York rural water guy that uh, Steve Grimm came up and we televised that line that was on the side of the lake over there by uh, Shreve's residence all the way up to the lake um, that he was very concerned about. And uh, we uh, took our sewer jet up from the village and we took that on the camera and we were able to push that camera through uh, to help that Steve Grimm out. Uh, that was an idea that he came up with so we took that up there. I sent a couple guys up for the day, we came for the whole day, um, and the line is just like brand new. So there's not a problem with that line at all. Everything is just like new on that, on that road. Um, and I think there was one minor little dip in, a, in, the, in the line up there, but that was not so He said everything went good. He's made a videotape of that, so it's available for the board to look at. We had that at the garage down here in our Dewey. Um, sometimes in the next month, in case anyone wants to look at it. So, um, that was all pretty good news. And uh, next year, uh, we were hoping to do the other side of the lake. I got a call from uh, Mark Millspaw, um, and he wanted me to type up just a small report for his uh, aquatic lake uh, board, uh, the association. And I told him I'd do that this month. So, um, Everything else is good up there. Good. Thank you. Okay. That's a good Fourth of July. Yep. Good <laughs> Fourth of July. One call. Yes. Yeah, that was good. So, is the board got any questions or anything fun? Not here. Okay. Not really. Thank you, Brad. Thanks, Brad. Take care. Have a good night, Brad. Thank you. Thanks, Brad. Thank you. And the board all looked at the dog patrol report for the month. Mm -hmm. Is there any questions on the bell? Brian, you couldn't make it here tonight. He talked to me for a little bit, but there's no questions. Do we need a motion to approve this? So no moved. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. And code enforcement report. Did we all get a chance to look at that? Yeah. Any questions on that? Any little money? Not very much baby going on. No, not really, but we still took a few dollars. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anybody want a motion to approve the so <coughs> second? I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Uh, let's see. Everybody get a chance to look at the minutes of June 11th meeting? Yep. Any questions on the minutes? Do we have a motion to approve the minutes? I'll make a motion when we accept the minutes of June 2nd. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion carried. Now we've got the clerk's report here. That's up my order here. I'll make a motion. 
gentleman. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Do you want me to sign these, Allison? Do you want me to sign these? We'll sign them. We'll sign them? Okay. So, you just got to sign it first, right? It's all on you now, Jay. Okay, that's all I'm going to be here tonight. Now, here's the list. Um, <coughs> first thing is the flash flood this we've had. We made a lot of damage to our roads here in the town center. And uh, the crew is doing an excellent job. And we got everything opened up. And, uh, Class of uh, 2017, we had a car wash big sale at the highway drive July 13th, 2013 at 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And Allison, you want to go over? Yeah, resolution of authorizing the adoption of the Broome County Multi Jurisdictional All Hazard Mitigation Plan. Uh, whereas all of Broome County has exposure to natural hazards that increase the risk of life, property, environment, and the county's economic <coughs> economy. And whereas proactive mitigation of known hazards before disaster event can re reduce or eliminate long-term risk to life and property. And whereas the Disaster Mitigation Act of 2000, Public Law 106-390, Establish new requirements for pre and post disaster hazard mitigation programs, and whereas a coalition of Broome County municipalities with life planning objectives have been formed to pool resources and create consistent mitigation strategies within Broome County, and whereas the coalition has completed a planning process that engages the public, accesses the risk and vulnerability to the impacts of natural hazards, develops a mitigation strategy consistent with a set of uniform goals and objectives, and creates a plan for implementing, evaluating, and revising the strategy. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Town Board of the Town of Sanford, the Town, in regular session, duly convened that the Town one adopts its entirety the room county multi-jurisdictional all hazard mitigation plan the plan as the jur jurisdiction natural hazard mitigation plan and resolves to execute the actions identified in the plan that pertain to this jur jurisdiction two we we'll use the adopted and approved portions of the plan to guide pre and post disaster mitigation of the hazards identified three we'll coordinate the strategy strategy these identified in a plan with other planning programs and mechanisms under its jurisdictional authority. Four, will continue its support of the mitigation planning committee as described within the plan. Five, will help to promote and support the mitigation successes of all participants in this plan. Six, will, will incorporate mitigation planning as an integral component of government and partner operations. Seven, will provide an update of the plan in conjunction with the county no less than every five years. This resolution shall take effect immediately. Were there any questions on this resolution? I mean, this is all that stuff we got to do with, so we can get FEMA. Right. I mean, yeah. I make a motion we adopt this uh, all hazard mitigation plan. Second. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Do you need a roll call vote on the resolution? Yes, we can do one. Um, <coughs> Kevin Jayaki? Aye. David King Saxon? Aye. Jeff
and they'll have it as soon as possible if it's okay. New road signs have been installed on Clark Road for the child with a hearing impaired problem. We did get a doctor's note for the child, so that new signs are up there all done. And the new truck, that should be here the week of July 15th or the week of the 22nd. So one of the dates should be in. And we've been doing some road shimming, paving for the CHIPS project. And uh, as soon as we get our flood work caught up, we'll be back on the CHIPS work. We'll start that back up. And we've been having a few truck problems recently. And uh, we're going to pick up the last one tomorrow. And on here, he's got it. We'll be seeing a large bill for the work that's been done. For this computer work, outside work that we couldn't handle in the house. And that's all I have for now. Any questions for Jay? <coughs> Don't think we're on the spot. Hmm? <laughs> out of time. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever had a shop sign stolen? Um, not recently. We replaced a couple that were a few weeks back, but nothing recently, thank God. We're keeping our eye out for that. Tell JD to try to keep. I'll get your cell. I think I got your cell anyway. We've got to be able to get that garage turn off for our computer upgrades. You know, one more time. I'll make sure I'm around. Or I'll He'll be here working a good part of the day. Maybe if him or JD could just stop by and talk with the guy. JD's not around. So oh. I'll be around. You can but stop by after 9 in the morning. Once you get the guys going, whatever. Okay. And just see when the guy is going to go down there so you can meet with him and go ahead. <coughs> um, Sounds good. Appreciate that. Anything else? <coughs> We're good. I'm going to go back to, because uh, I skipped one thing, supervisor's report. I'm going to get a chance to look at the supervisor's report. <coughs> Thanks, Jay.
almost basically every township's jumping on board with this. So I mean, well, I'll make a motion then. I think it would be a good thing and it takes a lot of pressure off of our highway crew. It takes a lot of pressure off our highway crew and it takes a lot of pressure off of our engineer and the town spending money to right. do these things. So we got a motion from Gordy. We got a second. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. You got that, Allison, then? Yes. This is basically just uh, Broome County is submitting an application for the New York State Main Street program. They're just requesting a letter of support from our town sample supervisor. This is a grant I believe the village has done several times. It's for upgrading Main Street. <coughs> town of Sanford's part of Main Street, but this is really more I think, something the village would be doing. But they just want a letter of support from us. I make a motion that we send that letter. Wait a second. I'll second. I'll be there. I don't know what it has to do with this. Well, the, the new park on Front Street, I think, is part of the Main Street grant. Mm -hmm. We've got a few things. Right. So we're just saying we support it. <coughs> no. Do you want to leave this other one here we've got, Allison? Yeah, I have a couple other things to go over too. You do what you got to do then. Um, the town received a thank you letter from the Deposit Community Pool Association Board of Directors <coughs> for the $500 check received from the Millennium Pipeline Company to the Deposit Community Pool. Um, Um, I have a resolution here to accepting and filing the attached recertification of record of activities form RS2419 of um, Supervisor Julie Decker, Secretary to Supervisor Summer Reese, Assessor Becky A. Atkins, and Town Justice Gary L. Holdridge for the New York State and Local Retirement System. Is that the resolution? It's for the recertification, um, for the record of activities, because they already did a record. That's been going so, on. Right. Right. Do you need a motion on it? Yes. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And then also. Resolution for the New York State Retirement System Standard Workday and Reporting Resolution. So this would be um, for the ones that have not done that already. You want to make that motion? Is this a different resolution? Yes. I'll make that motion. I'll make that motion. All in favor? All right. <coughs> Supervisor and board members. We are ready to request that you proclaim July 22nd, 2013 as Property Rights Day. Your proclamation will be in conjunction with other towns around New York State to promote people's understanding of the role of property rights in economic development. Property Rights Day was created to help people appreciate the fact that property rights and common good are explicitly linked and that along with the property rights comes responsibility. In summary, one, Property rights have served us for generations for cultural and economic purposes, despite the dual demands of commu communal needs and so society needs. Two, property rights are based on a forward-looking ex expectation. These expectations deserve protection by the law and by communal values and understanding. understandings. 
Three, property rights are protected by the U.S. Constitution. Lawmakers ensure private land use is su sufficiently in line with the well-being of all levels of a community. Four, property rights are vital for the good of a community. While good means something different to different groups of people, the drawn line should not sacrifice one group over the other. Five, property rights means responsibility. Understanding nature's limits to altering the landscape is good stewardship. Six, property rights offer a means for property owners to live and thrive. Seven, property rights protection should be equal and fair, and property rights differ because property differs. Eight, property rights should not be used as means to unfairly single out a group of people to carry the weight of a regulatory burden. No one should be sacrificed. Thank you for your attention in this matter. We would be honored to have your support. Sincerely, Rick Williams and all undersigned. The board have any comment on that? Sounds like they just want a day to celebrate owning property. Mm -hmm. Ooh, roll call vote on that email, mm -hmm. questions, I'll let Allison do a roll call vote. No questions? Can I ask a question? Sure. If you're going to set aside a day that the town of Sanford is supposed to uh, recognize every year, don't you think that should go before public comment? Is this, I'm not sure, is this something we need a public, well, I don't believe we would need a public hearing on something like this. Um, I don't think the town of Sanford is stating that we are, basically to me this is saying they just want a day to celebrate property rights of owning property. I don't think the town of Sanford board is saying one way or the other what they're celebrating it for. We're just saying that we grant them that day to celebrate being property owners. I'm a property owner too and mm -hmm. I know the gentleman whose name was on there and the, what he's trying to do is infringing upon my right. It addresses everybody's rights. Not really because when drilling starts next to me and I'm not leased, I'm going to be compulsory integrated whether I want to be drilled or not. So basically, your day <coughs> to celebrate your right to do whatever you want on your property takes away my right to do what I want to do on my property. It infringes on the well-being of other people who have property. So it sounds like a very <coughs> politically charged day that I don't know whether the board really would want to be involved in such a politically charged day. And how much would it cost the board or the town? Nobody's asking anybody to put anything on. This is going on across the state. You know, towns. Yeah, but it is a political Well, charge. every year everybody's losing whatever issue it may be, everybody's losing rights that were given to us in the Constitution when the Constitution was drawn. You know, we just celebrated that our country's independence. Why can't we celebrate our rights that were given to us from the Constitution? Well, doesn't it seem to you, though, that it is a politically charged thing? Because our rights, a property person's rights are um, infringed upon through eminent domain and compulsory integration as well. So it's kind of a politically charged thing, I think. I don't think so. So if I were Everybody's to entitled board, to a penalty on it. I mean, it's just... I wouldn't want to get involved in a politically charged thing. <coughs> Otherwise, the town board would be accused of being very, very political. And they're supposed to represent everybody. Now, I'll put, let me put it to the board in, in a way, too. I mean, 
and we they, they're asking for July 22nd. If we table this, of course, our next meeting isn't until August. Uh, <coughs> what what advantage is there for the board to either, I mean, to, to go ahead and say anything about it? Why does this board need to say anything about it? What's the point? Well, it was just a request that was given to us that we have to act on, uh, whether we go against it or whether we go against it or for it. It was a letter that was given to the town of Stanford that we, we should act on one way or the other. You should recognize everybody's rights. You know, I mean, it's whatever side of the issue you're on. You know, it's, it's everybody's rights. No one should be sacrificed. That's what it says. That's reintegration. I'm being sacrificed. Yeah. Why is well, this why one? Are you are you the local law? Are you in a drawing unit? Who? Right. Right. Are they They're going to be. What? Starts issuing permits. I don't see that. We're not making a local law or anything out of this. We're just the town of Sanford saying that on July 22nd. If they want to go ahead and have a picnic or whatever they want to do, why does the town need to be involved in that? Who is they? You. Uh, you and know, whoever I, outside this that was letter. built, including everybody. You're the one making you're, separations. You're excluding me. Well, you're making separations. I'm not making separations with that with that letter. It includes everybody. Um, if you got an issue with, with, with compulsory integration, yes. then that's a property right or something to take up. Since you I have a problem with my mineral rights that we haven't been able to exercise. Them. Since you know a lot about this, why don't you tell the, tell the board what the day is for and what will happen on that day? It's just, it's just to recognize, you know, like you have a day, you recognize the 4th of July is this country's independence. Well, why can't we recognize the, you know, the, the rights in the Constitution? What, what, what do you plan to do well, on that day? I don't know. We don't, we don't know yet. So this, it seems you know, like this I wouldn't vote for something I didn't know anything about if I were a board member. It doesn't seem like a wise thing to do. This really isn't a time. I understand everybody has feelings on this. I think this is something that was presented to the board that the board has to act on. We're really not in public participation time. The board all has this letter in front of them. I think the board can act whichever way they want to act on it. That's why we're here. We can table this. We can act on it. <coughs> I really would like to hear from the board how they feel about it. I just well, think it's quite harmless as we're not committing ourselves to anything. We can. Does anybody else have any other comments on it? Well, if you had a public hearing, then you would have to put it in the paper. Mm -hmm. The deposit courier. Mm -hmm. And that would give you to the 22nd. Well, that's, then you would have to call a public hearing. That's what they're asking. Which we don't have a meeting scheduled until August. We don't have time to do this in the next 13 days, but we'll go on the 22nd. So. Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, we would act on this just as well as if somebody came here and asked us to declare a certain day child rights days or something, you know, whatever. Just It's just, we're just saying that if they want us, this group of people say that they want to declare July 27th as property rights day. Okay. There's no comparison, though, from what you just said about you can declare a child day or something. These, you're, you are getting input from people like we are, landowners, who we are very sensitive at this point to what's happening, believe me, we are very, very sensitive. And we have invested in this county. I mean, I am going through a very difficult time, and I haven't heard from any of you whether I've gotten any support from you. You are our officials. You are representing us. And you, to say, you know, you will make the decision. Well, you will make the decision 
knowing how some of us feel. You cannot avoid that this is a, a very sensitive issue. Most of us in this room are probably landowners. And the way we feel, it's going to affect you. I'm sorry, but... If this were a gay rights day, would you be just going, oh, well, they just asked us. Okay. This, well, we'll this say, isn't well, about guess about about this is about guest development. This is about... You know, right. you people refer to this as gas development. Nobody How would you like if you couldn't build a pond? You know, isn't that your right to do that? It has to be zoned so that you can build a pond. It has to be approved <coughs> by the planning board. It doesn't affect your neighbors and it doesn't affect your Sure it does. You build a pond, you have to do a mile downstream study. That's right. You know, so and if it I mean, it does your neighbors, affect you. you can't put it in. It's all about rights, whether it's gas, whether it's building a pond, whether it's cutting a tree, whether it's putting a birdhouse on your tree on your property, whether it's putting a windmill on your garage, whatever it may be. This isn't uh, only gas. The I mean, if people want to make it gas, everything. The purpose of the day is a politically charged purpose, and if I were a board member, I wouldn't want to get involved in such a politically charged thing. It's not, there's nothing political about it. It clearly is. You can see it right here, right? What? May I remind you because that on the 4th of July, the reason we celebrate is because there was a war. Right. Okay, a lot of people died, and <clears throat> we, we commemorate that in, in a good memory. Right, I understand that. Okay, that is something that honors our country. But this does not honor our country. I, I respect the Constitution and our rights in the Constitution. We're, we're, we're extremely lucky, the rights that were given to us in the Constitution. That's what we celebrate the 4th of July with. Right, no, I understand that. But I mean, you go to other countries where they have no rights. That's where it's just heading. We'll be in Korea in 10 years. We're not committing ourselves to anything. We're not passing any law. We're not. You're condoning something, and you're approving of it. Condoning what? Taking away anybody's rights or anything else. I don't know what we'd be condoning except people wanting to celebrate mm -hmm. their right of the crop or owning property. As a town board, I don't. I know what everyone is thinking. Yeah. But I think this is very broad. People can celebrate it any way they want. Um, I understand how everyone feels. So there's no necessity for a board to, if they can celebrate anyway. They don't need your permission. Anybody who owns land can celebrate it every day in their hearts anyway. What's the big deal about making a day for it? Why do you make a gay rights day? You know, I mean, it's to celebrate your rights. <laughs> there's no problem with that. Because when nobody questioned it. Well, and would the board then certify that officially? Huh? Their rights day, or is the board going officially to celebrate that? We're talking, that? we don't have a problem with this. We're talking possibly tabling this. How does the board overall fit in? Or do you want your comfortable with table? Yeah. Okay. yeah, I think so. Great. Well, let's table it and we'll discuss it further. And. Uh, saying that we can't communicate on this and come up with a, an answer to it. Uh, but for right now, I guess we're going to have to table it. That's fine. Uh, did you have anything else, Allison? No. The only thing that I have here, I got a couple things, is I know Deb Stevers not here tonight, but I think the board is aware that uh, I got a letter from Constitution Pipeline Community Grant Program saying thank you for your recent application to the Constitution Pipeline Community Grant Program. We are pleased to inform you that your application has been selected to receive funding in the amount of $7,946. So we did get the grant for our IT upgrade here at the town of Sanford. 
and they started work on that today, actually, and hopefully it will be all completed by Thursday. So that's good news for the town. We just saved about $8,000 on our IT upgrade, which is something I'm working towards. Hopefully someday we'll get a website going here. So this is sort of step one of that. But I just also, I know that the movie theater received $25,000 and the closet library received at least $7,500. So anybody, I don't think, I don't know if anybody who's here that wrote a grant to the Constitution Pipeline, but if you do, they do it every six months, I urge you to write it again, because they award them every six months, anybody that was rejected. So, which I've already spoken to Deb about this. So there'll be something in the case report. So I just want everybody to be aware of that. Well, that 25000 that must put the, uh, the theater over the top of that digital They've ordered it and we've got a installation installation date scheduled and they're gonna be able to go ahead and do it now. Because of that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was good news. Carolyn was very excited. And also we I don't know if you guys all got that letter from I am. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> good, how are you? Good. We all got a letter here from the town deposit from Gary Grayson about the Dog licensing and stuff, and <coughs> we're just going to table that for now. We're going to sit down and have a basically a three-way meeting with town deposit supervisor, any board members that want to be part of it, the town Sanford supervisor, any board members that want to be part of it, and the dog control officer, so that we can come up with a universal fee and application of this so that we're both doing it the same way, charging the same fees for boarding people's dogs. We don't come to them. So just wanted to make it be aware of that that is basically tabled until we meet with them. Uh,
clear for any questions now that anybody has for them. Well, Can you give us any input on this business with this uh, pipelines that are going all over the place? And not here or nothing. You know, when people are opposing. No, we can't tell you anything. You can't tell me anything about that? Yeah, I just not, I don't know You're anything legislated? to tell you. Because uh, the, the county is kept as in the dark as residents of the county are. So. We're not the only ones, huh? No, you're not the only ones. Taxes. Like Absolutely not the only ones. And where are the compressor stations going? Um, you should be able to check the Constitution to find out what, where they're to be located. Constitution pipeline. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know that all of their pipeline has been approved as of yet. I haven't got word on that yet. It's still in the first process. It's still in the first process. Yeah. So it's almost a moot point until that, that does it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't the town have the maps here in the building? They do have maps here. But those ideas were submitted to the federal government, basically, and it's what they call the FERC process. I know, I know. And until it's approved, they can make changes. I, yeah, hopefully they will. <laughs> we don't know. I mean, that's way above us. We don't know what they're going to decide to do. That's right. So. No, yeah, but they like the money, the grants that they give into the town, the people who is against this pipeline. Well, you got it for the theater, you got it for the school, you got it for the pool. But yeah. you're against it, but you want all this uh, free stuff, the grants. It's a drop in the bucket. Oh, come right. on. Before we get into this yeah. argument, yeah. 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Compared to what it costs. Yeah. Can I backtrack a little bit to your issue? Mm -hmm. you, you may want to contact Dallas in the um, real property department, um, Kevin Keel from the county and he can let you know the status on the tax issue of that property and whether or not it is something right for the picking. Two properties. Two properties. Yes. Okay? All right. And as, as far as, I mean, we're basically getting the public participation now. If anybody has something to say, please stand up, announce your name, and I don't believe we have a timer here today. <laughs> We're going to go with the three minute time that we normally have. So, public participation is now open. Do you have something? Yes, I do. I'd like you to stand up, sir. I'd like you to stand up and explain what you do for us. What I do for you? Yes, sir. <laughs> well, you got three minutes. <laughs> Basically, I am your representative. I am the citizen representative at the county seat, okay? If I don't know what needs you have, I obviously cannot represent those well, okay? And pardon me that uh, this is, I think, the second time I've been out here this year. I, I, I have three districts I have to to maintain and visit, and all your meetings are on the same night. So we, we work it around to, to get to the ones we can where we can, okay? Um, specifically out here, um, you know, there, there's, there's legislation regarding health and human services, there's legislating, legislation regarding uh, public safety. Uh, one specific one that we passed last month is a ban on bath salts, for instance. Not the kind you put in your bathtub, but the synthetic hallucinogen that is uh, uh, created much news all over the country for its uh, incredible effect on the human body. Uh, along with that, many other um, uh, synthetic type recreational drugs are banned as well. So, I mean, it's, it's things like that on a broad basis for the whole county. That, that I'm working on. Now, specifically for the village, for instance. Um, I was just over at the village meeting. They were, they have an issue with the county DA and not prosecuting crime in the village. I was not aware of that until I walked into that meeting over there. I am now aware of that, and I will now have a conversation with the DA 
about why he is not prosecuting crime out here. Okay? Um, to another issue that the village had is the Second Street drainage, Second Street Methodist Church, a drainage project that the county and the village have been working on. That work had stopped, <clears throat> needs to be continued and finished. So I'm going to reach out to the public works director to try and spur that along a little bit and, and get that done. So, you know, as issues arise, I'm going to, I, uh, I'll leave a stack of cards on the table here or I'll hand one to each of you. Feel free to get a hold of me. I am always available. I can respond to emails and I can respond to, to voicemails or answer phone calls. I'm more than happy to talk to you. Okay? okay. Three minutes up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Scott, how big of an area do you cover? You cover Windsor and Colesville? No, I cover the town of Sanford mm -hmm. to the county line, north of the county line, south of the state line. Okay. I cover the town of Windsor to the Colesville line, to the state line, to the Kirkwood line, okay. to the Kirkwood line. Sure, sure. <laughs> and then I cover the town of Kirkwood basically from Colesville Road east. So the majority of the town of Kirkwood, all the way down to you know down Route 11 to to, this, to the state line. Okay, right, thank you. Mm -hmm. By the way, I'd like to add a cause. It is by far the largest district of all of the legislators in Crook County, mm -hmm. <laughs> by far, square mile wise. Square miles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't see results. I'd like to get in touch with you. Yeah. Give me hand your mile. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Here, why don't you just pass them? Pass them right down and pass them back to me. Can I ask you a question? Certainly. Um, so, would you be the person I would speak to if I was concerned about a road that our trucks are going on that they're using jake brakes and whether we can get a sign that says no jake brakes, just like we have in the village that says no jake brakes when we come to the village? But this is a county road. road, County Road 237. Um. Yes, you can get a hold of me and I will direct you to the Public Works Department okay. who handles highway and parks and airport transit. Yes, I can do that. Uh, I'll, if they can help you, I'm not sure. Jake brakes typically are used for a reason. Part of the braking system. Whether one of, you know, whether they're driving too fast or not, that we uh, shall leave up to the state police and the village police and the sheriff's department. But we shall look into it right now. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Do I sit down or? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you coming. Hey, not a problem. Appreciate you. Not a problem. Do we have any other questions or comments for public participation? Yeah, I'm wondering if, if the board itself knows where um, compressor stations might be. I'm, I'm concerned we've got, I know one uh, in Windsor and one planned in Hancock, and I believe there's one planned here as well. And our, because of the volatile organic compounds settling in areas of wherever there's mist that settles, you know, in the valleys, I'm just wondering if that has been looked at about in terms of placement so that not one area gets inundated with the volatile organic, organic compounds. I don't believe there's any compressor stations going in the town of Sanford at all. I, I, I believe you to be correct in your statement. And deposit, town of deposit? I don't believe there's any going to the town of deposit either. <laughs> not that I am aware of. That's interesting because I was just reading over um, one of the pipeline permit uh, submissions, and it talked about compressor stations in the town of Sanford. Uh, as far as I'm aware, we uh, there are none planned for no. the town of Sanford. They don't need them. They don't need them. They don't what, need them. What, do you, does, does anybody know, um, do they need one every time it connects with another pipeline, or is it one no. of those? No. No, it's actually getting decompressed. The pressure is so high coming out of the exactly. it's getting decompressed in millennium. Mm -hmm. In West Windsor. Yeah, yes. correct. Mm -hmm. That is correct. So it's a decompressor station instead of a compressor station? Yeah, and it's decompressed in, in Pennsylvania, and it's flowing from Pennsylvania without any compressors. And you don't want to be in scary county. Mm -hmm. 
So what is it that they are, um, there's, there is compressor station in Windsor though. Yeah, correct, on Mar Road. Right, so they do need one there, and why do they need one well, there? Well, Scott knows that better, or whatever. he knows that that's being decompressed. Uh, yes, on um, that one, they are they're, they're basically dropping the pressure to the pipe from the flow of gas in the pipeline to the intersection of gas into the Millennium Pipeline. Mm -hmm. That's what they're doing out there in Windsor. And so does it release the same volatile organic compounds as a compressor station? A decompressor station is doing the same thing? <clears throat> is there a release of gas from time to time? Not gas. That would be the methane. I know that they do that. But I'm talking about the 24 hours a day, seven days a week, volatile organic compounds that come off of compressor stations. I have to look into that a little more. I'm not sure what that is, to be honest with you. Oh. Fair enough. I have one more question, sir. Should have been a deal. Should have been a deal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are you, are you done, Dave? My name is Angelo Trapato. I live at 940 State Route 49. <laughs> I own 87 acres of land. Okay? I have a beautiful home that we just built eight years ago. I own a trail across the way. I'm 41. I can live with the two racks in there. Um, my problem is, when the trucks come by now, it's I, spoke, I spoke to the supervisor on the highway. They were doing repair on the highway. Mm -hmm. Somebody came down the Schultz Road and tracked the trail along the snow, I guess, I don't know, some ice. And they ripped the rail. Mm -hmm. I imagine the rail was in the road. So I guess they just pushed it back. That sits there. He said, oh, I'm going to come and take pictures and we'll correct Maybe that. Sure. Here's the second one. We have a drainage creek next to my house. It goes mm -hmm. under 41. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go under there, it's concrete. It's cracked. And we're told about it. Guys came down and looked at it. They took pictures of it. Right? Nothing done. Trucks go by and you hear ba-boom. And every time you hear ba-boom, now I got cracks in the walls of my house from the sheep rock. Oh. This is oh, restored. Wow. You know, it's all over here already with the whole thing, really. Well, do you, are you aware of this at all, Jay? What's going on there? But that would be on Route 41. That's the state. Yeah, the state. In fact, the sign on the Shook's Road is missing. Somebody stole it. That's they the put the a little paper on there. That's the state top. That's, 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 that's covered by New York State Department of Transportation. Yeah, but, uh, but we tried to talk to that truck. Now, you know. I mean, that's going to come and take pictures, man. I'm so afraid we're going to get one of these logging trucks come down there. And he's going to end up in that creek. It's going to collapse. No. And then, you know, somebody might be killed. I mean, Here's another one. 55, 50 miles an hour sign right next to my house. Here's an intersection. Mm -hmm. I, asked them, I asked them about this, this supervisor. I asked them about it. Can we bring the speed limit down a little bit? When people come down the Schultz Road, they look. And here's a turning. You can't see it. It's a blind corner. Mm -hmm. They have to peel rubber to get going. I, know I saw a county truck you know. almost get hit. People standing there working. If he didn't go forward onto Schultz Road, he would have had a bad accident there. I really don't believe there's a whole lot the town of Sanford can do on the Highway 41. Road. The state highway, highway 41. That's yeah. that road, Schultz Road. And the Schultz Road? Yes. The Schultz Road is, is town of Sanford. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So okay. what, what are you saying you want to know on the town of Sanford Road? What do we do? Why well, Schultz Road. How about paving the road so we don't get all this dust and all this dirt <laughs> coming up and hitting my house? We you wish know, we, we had to repaint the whole house. And... We wish, I'm sure Jay will make JD aware of this, the highway superintendent, what, what you're asking to be done, but there's only so many dollars in there to to do what we can do. Well, then let's pass this gas and we'll have all the revenue we need. Well, <laughs> there's a whole other subject. <laughs> yeah. All I can say is stay on the state. As far as 41 goes, Jay will relay this information to JD about Schultz Road. And uh, maybe JD will stop and we'll have to talk with you. I don't know. But Jay will relay this information to him. That's the state. And the road down makes it. It's in the state and the town. You know, it's a rough situation. Yeah. We really get results. You know, it's well, been I'm this way a long time. I'm sure. Have you, have you contacted JD at all or highway superintendent? I don't even know who he's talking about. He'll be in touch with you. Okay, thank you. Yes. I, mean, I would like to let him look at that concrete old pass, you know, yeah. the holes. The culprit. I'm, sure, really I'm sure JD will be in touch with <coughs> you. Yeah, thank you. Remember the last two storms we've had? Mm -hmm. 
that actually a rock come down and hit that thing and took sections of it right off. That Whatever you mean. The corners. Right. I had proved it after I got arrested of going in the creek. Oh yeah. Yeah, I know. It was $152. Right. Right. And then I had to do the repair anyway. You can't do it without a permit. But what is JD doing from the vacation? Monday. I'm you sure you're going to be shortly after that. <laughs> What's that? You're going to be doing Well, she's kind of going to shift them on now. We're going to just, it's on trial error. <laughs> trial run. <laughs> but he'll be in touch with you. What's this chemical that's spray on the side of the road? Is it dangerous? I have no that's idea. The right across the that's, that's the state. That's the state that does that. I have no the idea. The in front of the house. I have no idea. What, what about the county roads? Do you know about that? I do know. The calcium chloride? That goes in the creek, you know, that's, that's polluting the creek. So never mind the gas polluting the creek. Calcium chloride, all this other stuff they use. I worry about that, too. That's it. Yeah. I mean, that's a question for your New York State DOT. They use the oil. And we're going to have a public works department. That's the only nothing in the town of Sanford. You don't spray chemicals? No. No, they use calcium chloride. To wet it down to keep it packed tight. That's a bad no, on the road, but this reduction control, but mm -hmm. all that I'm aware of. We don't spray any other chemicals to kill weeds or anything. I'm happy for that. Are there any other questions as far as the public participation goes? If there are no other questions, um, we have a motion to go into executive session. So moved. All in favor? Aye. I'd like to thank.